On fall football Saturdays in Iowa City, over 70,000 fans from across the state of Iowa and the Midwest fill Kinnick Stadium. Adjacent to the football stadium lies the University of Iowa Children's Hospital, a gathering place that also draws people from across the region every single day. We are one of the only facilities to provide a number of medical services for the state of Iowa. We are oftentimes the place of last resort. The University of Iowa Children's Hospital would not be where it is today without the help of some very special people. Iowa football head coach Kirk Ferentz and his wife Mary have been dedicated to raising awareness and providing support for the University of Iowa Children's Hospital since 2006. You know, in Kirk's line of work and, you know, using that platform um, to do more is something that we've always tried to think about. And the families they're helping and the difference they're making in the lives of families and children. It's just incredibly exciting. You see some of the courage that's really displayed by the families and the patients. You know, it's, it's really inspirational for everybody. They are rock stars in the state of Iowa, and having someone with that stature providing support for the Children's Hospital is a wonderful way to distribute that word in directions and corners of the state and corners of the country that we would never have access to. During his lengthy tenure as the Hawkeyes head coach, Ferentz has built an impressive resume. But the truest measure of his success is seeing the way his players embrace his passion for the Children's Hospital. I'm Steve, play defensive line here. How you doing, Casey, man? nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How you doing? Uh, you know, right. Coach has really taught us all that it's special, the place we're at and what we're doing, and we are very blessed with what we've been given. You know, we may be big, tough football players, but we are nowhere near what these kids are. This is my third surgery, third summer in a row. And first uh, summer, I had Adrian Claiborne come see me last summer. I had uh, Micah Hyde and Marv McNutt come see me. Sorry to disappoint you, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, First rounder, <laughs> uh, your starter. Yeah. It's hard not to enjoy helping a child when you, you see the smile on their face. Thank you. Uh, Good seeing yeah, you, man. Nice it was you. great yeah. seeing you. Yeah. Take care. Nice, you guys. Hey, nice meeting you, man. Thank you. They teach me to enjoy every day, um, to live it to the fullest. It hits you right in the heart. I mean, you just feel for these kids and just puts it in perspective of, of how tough they have it and how good we really have it and how fortunate we are to be playing in the big town. As long as we can maybe brighten their day once or twice, it's awesome. Best cooking tool you got? Cell phone. Call mom. <laughs> call, call mom. Mom, how do I cook chicken? <laughs> or a pizza place. Yeah. <laughs> in 2008, Drew Wall was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a rare form of bone cancer. He spent over 200 days at the University of Iowa Children's Hospital, many of which were brightened by visits from his beloved Hawkeyes. Having Coach Ferentz and Mary Ferentz a knee player visit you just takes your mind off everything that's going on in your life. So um, I can't thank Coach Ferentz and the players that have visited me in the hospital enough. All right, Joe, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you up there for a minute. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Kirk and Mary Ferentz's support extends beyond public appearances and visits. In 2006, the Ferentz family personally donated $400,000 to the Children's Hospital. The endowment gift that they've provided is supporting pediatric research as well as pediatric education. And it really is a reflection of their investment in the people at the University of Iowa Children's Hospital. If you're going to um, go around asking people to do something, you should be willing to do it yourself. And I don't think that we could go around raising money if we were unwilling to invest in the same cause ourselves. On June 9, 2012, the second annual Iowa Ladies Football Academy kicked off at Kinnick Stadium, with all of the proceeds benefiting the University of Iowa Children's Hospital. Appreciate you all being here, and welcome to Kinnick Stadium. Hosted by Kirk and Mary Ferentz, 
The Football Academy allows the women of Hawkeye Nation an opportunity to experience a day in the life of an Iowa football player, including player-led tours of the Hawkeyes' pregame routine. And so once we finally get here, obviously the one tradition that we have, that we hold sacred, is when we go by an Alkinic statue, have to rub his helmet. Have to. Some of these ladies know a little bit more about football than, than probably some of us would expect at times, but it's good to have them out so they can get a feel for for kind of what it's like to be a player on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a great event. The whole focus is to raise money for the UI Children's Hospital. And I think it's another example of the Hawkeyes and the community coming together to help the hospital. I really just hope all the women understand how, how meaningful it is for other parents to see that they've just given of their time and their money um, to help the Children's Hospital. It's amazing. Hawkeye fan Jennifer Smith is not only a participant in this year's event, but a beneficiary as well. Her son Ross recently was admitted to the University of Iowa Children's Hospital for the second time in his short life. I can't tell you how grateful it is that they're in my backyard. They're at your side along the way and explaining what's next and what just happened and what's coming. And um, I, I can't even articulate how fantastic that is. Well, I just think it's so great that you can just galvanize this whole Hawkeye Nation to raise funds for the Children's Hospital. And as a cancer survivor myself, I just think anything that you can do uh, to help lift the spirits of the kids that are there, it's great. Liz Nelson has attended the Iowa Ladies Football Academy the past two summers. A cancer diagnosis limited her participation in last year's activities, yet Liz still cheered from the sidelines and received a personal pep talk from Coach Ferentz. So I was telling Coach Ferentz how my kids are six and eight, and that's the hardest part of being diagnosed with cancer is knowing that you might not be there for your kids. And Coach Ferentz's response was, well, there's only two options and one of them's just not an option. And so I really took that as a rallying cry and a year later, I've had several clean scans and my doctor said it's beyond medicine and I am cancer free at the moment and so now I'm able to fully participate. In 2012, the Ladies Football Academy raised $337,000, part of a $1 million commitment on behalf of the Academy towards the construction of the new University of Iowa Children's Hospital is going to take all our pediatric services that now are scattered throughout a very large facility and it's going to bring those all into one, one building, one child-friendly, family-friendly building that will be less stressful for kids, more accommodating to families, and really provide all those services in an environment that is going to be more like a, a children's museum than a children's hospital. It's one of the nice things about the new freestanding hospital. They're going to have player rooms and patient rooms that will have, you know, vantage points to the stadium, which is, is really neat. As you guys already know, I'm Ray. <laughs> I'm Ray Hamilton. Um, I'm from Strong's Ohio. I'm actually... We play a game, and, and what they do over in that building is phenomenal. They do save lives. So to be able to raise money for what they do over there and uh, help them build a new facility, I think is phenomenal. Just a little bit. The Children's Hospital loves the Hawkeyes and having them support us really is a, is a positive um, relationship for everybody involved. It's bigger than just yourself, it's bigger than just your team, it's bigger than your university, it's the entire community. And I think uh, Hawkeyes, for example, do a good job of everyone leaning on each other and helping the community out. For more information on the Iowa Ladies Football Academy and how you can live big, go to btnlivebig.com.